everybody. Today, I'd like to talk with you about something I call emotional Aikido. But Aikido, if you've ever heard of it, is a martial art like karate or judo. But it's very different in that it, there's no kicking and punching involved. It's like using your aggressor's aggression in your favor. I once, years ago, saw George Leonard, who was a famous athletic dude, and he was an Aikido master. And he was doing a demonstration with some of his students who were attacking him with fake knives and sticks. And he looked like he was doing Tai Chi, quick Tai Chi, as he was escorting them one by one to the floor uh, as they were attacking him. It was really cool. After the demonstration, I was so impressed. I went up to him and I said, how did you do that? I mean, it was sort of a naive question, but he actually answered me. He said, I let them do it. And I said, what do you mean by that? That's a little too Zen for me. And so he explained it. He said, in karate, for instance, if somebody attacks you, you step back, you block the attack, and then you advance with a kick or a punch. But in Aikido, if somebody attacks you, you step closer and use their aggressive energy to disarm them. If, for instance, they're punching at you, you step closer, and he would do circular motions and collect the energy of the punch. He would meet it at the wrist and then redirect it so that the person would either break their own wrist or go where he directed them to go. It was all very quick, but it was really very, very cool. So I postulated within myself, what if this was possible to do with people who are verbally aggressive and emotionally aggressive? So I've invented this thing I call emotional Aikido, which follows the same principles. When attacked, step closer and use their aggressiveness to make them more vulnerable. Here's a good example of that. It's a brilliant example. There was a guest at Hippocrates Wellness, a woman who was dealing with breast cancer, and she was um, complaining to me that her older brother kept calling her. He had been mean to her her whole life, and he continued to be mean. And I said, well, what do you do when he calls you? She said, I just sort of listen to it, and then uh, he'll say something mean, and I mumble something, and then hang up, and I feel bad for a while. I said, well, remember emotional Aikido, and I taught her the principles. And she said, Andy, just tell me what to say. And I said, that's not how it works, grasshopper. So the next time she came in, to see me, she had sort of a swagger. And I said, eh, something happened. Your brother called and you did something different, didn't you? And she said, yes, I did. And so I said, go ahead, what, what happened? She said, get this. At one point he said, so let me get this straight. You're trying to heal or cure yourself from breast cancer by eating raw vegetables. Well, if the cancer doesn't kill you, the vegetables will. And I thought, you know, that's really mean. There's nothing nice or productive about that. And I said, so what did you do? And she said, at first, I just felt like the same old crappy feeling. I just felt like hanging up and distancing myself. But then I remembered emotional Aikido. And then, are you ready for this? She said something that was completely brilliant. And I've used it as a great example of emotional Aikido ever since. She said, are you saying that because you care about me? Do you get it? Stepping closer. And she said it with complete curiosity, not a tone in her body, so to speak. And then he was caught off guard. He was silent. And then he said, eh, of course I'm saying that because I care about you. And then she had him. Then she said, well, thank you for your care but your tone of voice doesn't really reflect or show your care. So until your tone of voice shows your care, don't call me. And he mumbled something and hung up and she felt so empowered after practicing it and teaching it that you cannot lose because you just keep stepping closer. You have to do it with sincere curiosity and not reactiveness, otherwise it just doesn't work. Otherwise they'll pick up on your reactiveness and then you'll still be in conflict. But if you really ask something, and yes or no questions are the best, because it's a yes or no question. It just works because you're curious 
you're not part of the fight and you're disarming the person and actually using their aggress aggressiveness to make them more vulnerable. Okay, emotional Aikido. Good luck with it. If you have any questions, leave some comments or even call me, 561-471-5867. Okay, peace out.